So welcome to Big Bear Trailers. Um, today we've got a review for you, or not a review, a walkthrough actually, of taking out the divider on a Cheval Liberty Touring Country. So we get a few questions on this and it's nice to have this to refer back to because most times you'll buy the trailer and then use it in its standard format for probably several years. And then you go, it's the time when, you know, in two, two and a half years time, when you want to take the divider out, you go, how do I do that? So let's walk through this. So we've got a standard trailer, standard formatting. So all I'm going to do to start with, just to make my life easier, is take the breast bars out. So that's one. Let's get the second one. Let's take that out of the way. So we've got two of those breast bars out of the way. Now I'm going to switch to the front and do the same there. This one's slightly different because we've got the hooks here. Just going to pop those down on the floor so it's nice and safe and also out the way. So I've just got the last breast bar to remove. That just means everything's nice and flexible now. So let's just pop that down there. It's quite handy actually that a divider's moved around. Um, basically, to, next step is to take this forward headboard out. Um, we've got a little slider just here that we can pull down. If we pull down on this lever, the pin at the top comes down. So let me see if I can show you that from where the camera is. So basically, I'm going to pull down on that, it releases that pin. I can then lift up, that's now off, and I can now walk out with this panel. So I'm just going to do that again. Let's put it somewhere nice and safe. So I'm just going to lie that. There we go. So we're out. So we're now left with a final piece in the process, which is we're just left with the pillar and the rear panel. This is where really you could do with a helper because it is more of a two person's job. So first bit is let's pull the safety clip off of there, which is designed to stop that pin coming out keep that pin somewhere nice and safe. Um, so we've taken the pin out at the top, that's ready to move now. You can see the pins there going into that sort of V-shaped receiver. What I need to do is this rear board, we probably need, if we were looking at a clock face, and clock face is 12 o'clock ahead of me, six o'clock behind, probably take it to about seven o'clock. Grab both pieces. I'm gonna lean the post further forward. Just give myself a bit of breathing space and just feel it because in the floor there is a little keyhole opening for it to come out of and I've just there we go so I've just found it just on its way out now so now if you if you come in you can see in the floor there's a specific cut out there and you have to get that divider lined up to be able to come out of there so now I can just carry this completely out and we're ready to uh, put in full width breast bars or if you're using it to carry straw or something like that, that's not a problem. To put it back in again, we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to find the way where that key can go through the floor where it's happy and it's in. Then bring the top post up here, bring that piece into the receiver. And now we're ready to put that pin back in again. So put it in and do remember to put the little safety pit clip over it so that can't pop out. We're now ready to bring that front headboard back in. Once you've got that back in again, literally it's a matter of slotting it over here, pull the lever down, then release the lever and the pin will go up and through there and then pop your breast bars on. So that's how to do it. Literally for this piece, probably better to have a helper, but as you see, I have just done it on my own. So just take your time feel the way and you'll be absolutely great. So this is Ian from Big Bear Trailers. If we can help at all or if you've got any questions, please do give us a call and our number here 01832 770 888. Thanks very much. Bye now.